everybody, I'm Tech Real, and it's time once again for some Blue's Clues news. Yes, uh, no warning today because, you know, if you've stayed around this long, you kind of know it's going to be a ramble fest. I've accepted it, you've accepted it, let's just have some rambly fun together. So yes, we have a lot to talk about today. We have like 10 different things to talk about. I have a whole bunch of tabs open of like Twitter, Instagram, like articles and pictures, and we have so much to get through. And that's mainly because recently I've opened up a Discord server exclusively for Blue's Clues news. Yes, people have been joining, it's been a super fun time, we've all been talking Blue's Clues and all that type of stuff, and they've actually been helping me find a lot of the news that we're talking about today. Uh, most of it actually being fa found, blah, blah, most of it being found by a sir called Adam, if I can find his, uh, Adam P. 5104. Yes, he has been providing a lot of very, very interesting news. So, um, yeah, if you want to thank anyone for this episode, thank him. He's provided like three fourths of what I'm talking about today. So, um, yeah, thank you, Adam. All right, without further ado, let's get started. We have to begin with an article from romper.com where we have this little quote here from Tracy Page Johnson, one of the creators of Blue's Clues and Blue's Clues and You. <clears throat> Uh, Blue's Clues was before its time, and now technology has finally caught up with us. We plan to make the new series more interactive than ever before, with new enhancements and features that truly reflect the way that preschoolers today are playing and learning, but more on that later. So, uh, this is a little thing, not much to talk about here, but we have the words more interactive and also new enhancements and features, so we can maybe expect some sort of changes uh, I don't know, to the format of the show, or perhaps some sort of new segment that's going to be inserted in places. Uh, this could even tie into the tablet that we found in a picture in the last episode, so maybe there will be some sort of parallel game that you can play along with the show that will make it even more interactive of an experience. Uh, really don't know, so that's just something to look out for. New features of the show, so um, yeah. Also in this article is this little tidbit, uh, <clears throat> let's not forget about Mailbox and Notebook, two crucial characters from the original series. They will definitely be returning. So one, we have the fact that Mailbox is returning, and as Tracy Page Johnson says in the next quote, he will still be delivering letters, um, but also incorporating modern technology, which we'll get to in a second. But um, they, they reference Notebook, you know, the handy dandy Notebook, as a character which I find strange. I mean, it is a crucial part of the series, but I've never really considered it a character up until now, so it's really weird that they would choose that phrasing. Maybe the article is just being a little bit weird about how they're phrasing things, or maybe it's a little hint at a little, little fan thing that I've been spreading around on my Twitter and DeviantArt, which is Notebook Friend. Um, <laughs> he's a living handy dandy notebook, and we all love him. He, If you don't love him, then you're dead to me. So... <laughs> But yeah, who knows? Maybe this is some sort of hint. Or maybe Romper is just out of touch of, you know, what Blue's Clues is. Um, either way is possible. Uh, we also got uh, Mailbox, like I said, which is uh, incorporating some new modern technology. So that's definitely weird because what modern technology can you add to a mailbox and letters? Unless they sort of explain how the letters project video, then maybe. But I don't think that's something they would really get into on a children's show, and I can't really think of any other additions you can make to a mailbox, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you can think of any potential way that mailbox can be more technology-based. I am scared to see the answers. So, um, lastly, back on the notebook subject, we have this quote. Our notebook will be handier and dandier. It will have the traditional paper and crayon, but with a modern twist. So that's definitely interesting because a lot of people have been like theorizing maybe it's gonna be a tablet or a camera. And I say a lot of people, I mean like me and some others. Um, but a lot of people have been thinking it could be a tablet and that's been a worrying thought. But this sort of puts that to rest, but also kind of not really. Because while it does say the traditional paper and crayon, that could either mean one, that there's going to be literal paper and crayons in it, like that's literally the materials it's made up of, or that it's going to be a twist on those, that it's going to look like paper and crayon while not actually being that. So like maybe a tablet app that like you can draw on that looks like paper and maybe the tablet pen looks like a crayon. 
It's possible. It's actually one of the notebook theories that I have that I will be talking about in a video coming soon. Wink, wink. But yeah, it's definitely interesting to know that it is going to still have that paper and crayon aesthetic. So that's something we can look forward to with the notebook. Uh, the modern twist is still worrying to me. So, um, next piece of news. Now this is a big one. We have a screenshot from the show. Yes. Show the clip. Oh my god. <laughs> um, this is big. Uh, this is one of the ones that Adam gave me. And uh, I am eternally grateful because look at this. There is so many things you can see here. We have, uh, if you look at the laptop and the upper left computer, we have like storyboard from the actual show itself. But more importantly, we have this computer shot of the show with an actual clue, which it's, by the way, it's really nice to see the clue still looking like a clue. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, oh, maybe it might change or look different or weird. But it looks amazing, even though it's blurry at the moment, but it looks great. It looks so great. The only complaint I have is Jesus, Josh, and Blue, clean up your table. Why is it so messy? There are seeds, there's a jump rope, there's graham crackers, there's plates, there's Blue's ball, which is oddly small if you look at it. I mean, usually it's a bigger ball, but now it's like the size of the cup, which is definitely pretty strange. But uh, speaking of the cup, we have the fact that the cup is a clue, which sort of reinforces one of the ideas slash hunches slash theories that I had in one of the previous episodes of Blue's Clues News, which is the fact that I think that they might be remaking the snack time episode of Blue's Clues, aka the first episode of the series post-pilot. Um, because one of the first clues, if not the first clue of that episode, and of the series by extension, was a cup. Because the answer, if I remember correctly, was milk? So yes, this might be the full confirmation that they are going to be actually recreating the episode. Of course, it is in a different location than the original clue, but of course they're going to change around some details. I mean, they're not going to make a perfect, you know, one-to-one -one recreation, but I find this to be very interesting, so who knows, maybe they might be doing a little homage. Wink, wonk. So, um, yes, uh, anyways, speaking of other strange details, we have, if you look in the bottom right corner of that shot, we have something like shiny and green, which is weird to me, because it doesn't look like green screen material, because all the green screen material you can see in the background isn't shiny, because green screen material usually never is, it's supposed to be matte so that you can properly chroma key out the green, but like, it does, it just doesn't look like green screen material, and it's just sort of sitting there in the shot, it's shiny, it has no lines, so you gotta wonder, what could that possibly be? Is that maybe some sort of new tablet notebook that we should be thinking about? That's just sort of in the shot right now? Because that looks like it was purposely put in. As I mentioned, like, even if you take out the fact that it's, like, still shiny and that it could still be shiny while being a green screen thing. If it was a green screen thing, why wouldn't it be green screened out right now? Everything else is green screened out, so why the exclusion of that one item? It's very strange, so that's something to be curious about. But um, yeah, that's about all I have to say on this photo, other than the fact that just it looks amazing, uh, if you couldn't tell already. So um, yeah, that I, it is amazing to see a shot of the show, even if it's just some random production guy in it. <laughs> but yeah, next news. So here we have a couple of Twitter and Instagram posts from a guy named Peter Zizzo, apparently a songwriter. So uh, let me read this. Uh, I just learned that I won both the theme song for Nickelodeon's reboot of Blue's Clues and blah blah blah. That's all we need to know. So, um, yes, we have the official confirmation that there's going to be a new, or at the very least, sort of redone version of the Blue's Clues theme song. So that's something to look out for. The next tweet says, <clears throat> Excited for you guys to hear it. It captures the classic spirit of the show while sounding musically more current. It wasn't easy to pull off. Josh is awesome. So it's, I think we can assume from this that it's not going to be like the original Blue's Clues theme with Steve where it was just sort of a musical intro that sort of zoomed in on the house. It's going to be something that's actually sung and by Josh himself. And we have further confirmation on this from his Instagram post, which I will read right now. <clears throat> Even still on LA time, I can't think of a better way to spend a morning in New York City than recording new Blue's Clues new star Josh Dela Cruz. Love the incredible team of talent around this project, 
and can't wait for everyone to see and hear what we're making with Blue herself, Tracy Page Johnson, and some other people <laughs> whose names I am less familiar with. But um, yeah, so this fully confirms a new theme song as well as the fact that Tracy Page Johnson is reprising her role as Blue. So, a lot of fun news here. I'm honestly really curious to hear what the theme song is going to sound like, and I'm hoping that maybe we'll get some sort of a preview of what it will be before the show actually comes out as a little, as a little teaser, so um, we have that to look forward to. Next up, we have another article, and we get this little tidbit. <clears throat> I don't know why I have the, the feeling I should clear my throat every single time, but um, anyways, update 3 of 15. I am Davey, is reporting that Jaden can tell it? Uh, of Corn and Peg, Paw Patrol, Degrassi, blah blah blah, other stuff, uh, and Nicholas Fry of Max and Ruby and Boys vs. Girls will feature in Blue's Clues and you. Jaden will be playing a character named Cinnamon, and Nicholas will portray a kid in the show. So, we have now confirmation that Cinnamon, Paprika's baby brother, is coming back to the show, which makes sense. Again, we've been sort of establishing this sort of continuity with Joe returning, the Steve reference, and now we know that Cinnamon is returning, so that is a nice fun fact. In addition, we have Nicholas, who's portraying a kid, which is, a, I, I don't know why, that strikes me as weird. I think it's because they didn't really say a character or an object, it's just a kid. So, I don't know if this is going to be a one-off kid that's just going to show up and it's just sort of notable because Nicholas, whoever this is, is going to be in it. Or if this is some sort of recurring character that's going to show up, um, which would be definitely strange because we've never really had a recurring, you know, live kid character, assuming that this means he will be live. So, um, live being, like, actually there, not alive. I don't know why I felt the need to describe that, but it just felt weird to say. Anyways... Yes, yeah, so um, we might have a new live-action kid character in the show. If, if anything, maybe just for one episode. We've had them here and there. Or maybe it'll even be in the first or one of the first letters. I really don't know. Something to note, though, because uh, just j he's just a kid. <laughs> we got Cinnamon and a kid. So, um, just worthy of note. Also in the article, we have this picture of, uh, what is it, this is Joshua's dog, Josh De La Cruz's dog, uh, with a Blue's Clue script. I know it's a Blue's Clue script, because if you look at the very bottom, pretty much the only legible word of the whole script from, you know, this blurry photo, well, it's not blurry, it's just very tiny text on a not perfect photo, but if you look in the very bottom right, you see the words Blue's Clues, and unfortunately, that's all I can make out. So, um, if only, if only Josh had a better camera. <laughs> oh, well, what are you gonna do? Uh, and then next up we have another photo also from this post, one from Instagram of Josh breaking a couch and looking quite sad, <laughs> yet also amused. But um, we also, if you look in the background of this photo, we see a letter, a Blue's Clues letter, which is very interesting. I missed it the first time I saw it and now I can't stop seeing it because, oh my god, it's a letter. Um, I don't believe it's from the original show, though it might be. So this could be from the reboot. Perhaps maybe it is Josh's first letter on the show, which would be something that he might keep as a memento, or maybe he's just a fan of the show and has a letter from a certain episode. I don't know. I think the fact that it's from the reboot is more of a likely uh, possibility, especially because we have confirmed that Mailbox is back, so that is a fun little thing to notice. I wonder if he actually put it in the photo for people to notice as opposed to just leaving it there. Who knows? Anyway, on to the final two bits, uh, which are connected. So, uh, we have this Twitter post from Angela Centimero, as I've established, one of the creators of Blue's Clues, uh, in which she says, Ah, the shirt! You gotta see the new Blue's Clues shirt. So, um, yeah, it seems that Josh is gonna be wearing a new, possibly iconic shirt, you know, maybe some sort of a new pattern or something, you know, akin to what Steve and Joe wore in the show. Uh, and we have further confirmation of some sort of special shirt in this post that I found literally this morning. It is a Twitter post from early on this year uh, of production. We see, I believe that's Steve here, we see some production guy, and we see a guy over to the right with a green striped sleeve. Or, it's, it's blue striped. I don't know how I possibly said green striped. Then again, there's a lot of green in this image. It's blue stripes. There's a blue striped sleeve over to the right. 
He's also holding some sort of red thing, but I'm assuming that's some sort of prop for the episode that he's doing. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Josh. In the twi tweet itself, it says, Happy place, Steve Burns directing me today on the new, on the Blue's Clues reboot. Uh, this is, I believe, some sort of cameraman, uh, based on the, uh, Twitter handle, cameraboy1 Elias. Uh, on top of that, we have the hashtag Josh Dela Cruz, which I feel wouldn't be in there if he wasn't in the photo. He ain't this guy, he ain't this guy, he's gotta be this guy. So, Josh may be sporting a blue striped shirt, which may be some sort of homage to Steve. Uh, and I wonder if, based on the fact that Joe's shirt changed colors during his run of the show, maybe they might, you know, combine the ideas of the green striped shirt and the color changing Joe's shirt, and maybe do different colored striped shirts each day which would definitely be an interesting little mix, and I think that'd be really cool. If not, blue stripes are always awesome, so I have no, you know, objections there. So if it's just blue stripes, then that's cool. If it's not, then w I guess we'll have to see, but th we might have just gotten a little peek at the official new costume for Josh, or at least a sleeve of it. So, um... Yeah, who knows? Maybe it's just blue striped sleeves. Maybe the front of the shirt is something completely different. Who knows? That's probably not the case. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to just be mysterious. I don't... I, anyways, uh, that's about it for all of today's Blue's Clues news. That was a lot. We have a lot of new details and what's coming and what to expect and different theories now to make between what that shiny green thing is and that one shot who this new live action kid could be, what Josh's shirt is gonna be, we have a lot to wonder and hopefully we will learn more and more as more news comes out and as I continue to make videos on it. So um, yeah, that's about it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video.